Hey YouTube, working on the skitter again. Let me zoom out here. I don't know why that thing's always doing that. I, uh, George and I, George, you want to say hi? Hi to what? Say hi to the people on YouTube. Hi. Wave. There, good boy. George and I today got off work and he spent, because mom's gone, spent the uh, last two hours installing this drive line and U joints. And if you look in there, see, maybe that light might be in the way, right there, but you can see it by the hole there on the ground. I got the pins in, and that's a line off a grease gun attached to it. So I can get in there with the grease gun. I just have to pull that line out and I can grease it easy. My wife spent the last last Saturday, Sunday was our one year wedding anniversary. So on Saturday, she spent all day with me with my porta jack and everything and got that pin installed. That's the one that I had to heat up and bend and all sorts of stuff that's grease you see going out of it. But I put those shoulders on. So now, I guess maybe you see over there. See that pin there? That's the pin. There's the dry line. That's the dry line I made. But, uh, anyways, the pins are in for the first time in over 10 years. And, uh, yeah, so that's a big accomplishment. Right, George? Yeah. Do you know what we're talking about? Do you know what we're talking about? What? That's my point exactly. All right, so just wanted to share with you guys. I got the pins. Next step is blade pins and bushings. I got the stock for that. And you can see there's that cover I fabbed up there, drilled and tapped with, um, what size are those? Three eighths, three eighths uh, grade eight bolts. Some quarter inch plate I had, that's, I think eight inch by eight inch square. Or maybe it was 10, that's 10, no, eight inch by eight inch, I think. Eight or nine, something like that. And uh, have it up on blocks, jacked it all up, cause that was the only way I'd get to that, those bolts on the drive line in there. Cause, let me see, I mean you can hardly, I could hardly get my hands I could hardly get my hands down. It looks fairly easy, but it's not to get down there and bolt that in. In fact, I got two nuts. Right here, these are three-eighths nuts. The bolts on this side. And this yoke's threaded, but I put nuts on the back side just because of the torque and they're old. And But I mean, I could barely get in there to install that sucker, let alone try to get down up in there. It looks so easy on camera, my gosh, I'm so jealous. Cause I can get my hand down there to show you, that's why. But I couldn't even, I couldn't even hardly touch that yoke with my tip fingers, let alone get the bolts in there. So, but there's another accomplishment done. So next time you see it, hopefully I'll be putting a winch on or doing blade pins. I have the money for a winch. I got a winch lined up. Um, problem is it came off a 667. The difference is, it's a Clark winch, by the way. I don't know what model it is, but I know the Clark skitter we looked at on Sunday had the model W301. I think this is the model, I think it's called TH400 or something. I think that's what they put on 67s or 667s, don't quote me on that, but, um, and I'm pretty sure the yoke, the universal joint is bigger, so I gotta find that out. But my wife and I are, are not arguing, but in disagreements on if I should put a thousand bucks into a winch on the skitter for now, and so it's done, or if I should wait for the exact style winch. And she said I should put the money in that and have that motor rebuilt on the loader, pull the head and have all that done. So that way at least can move logs. But you can't, if you don't have a winch, you can't get logs to the shovel. It's my opinion. 
So for now, we're just going to set on the money until we decide what we're going to do. She's not arguing with me. I mean, I mean, we're in agreement on either one, but her suggestion is she'd rather me wait until at least I know for sure that that winch will work. So I got to go do some measurements and stuff. But anyways, that's a quick update. Let me walk around here. Shop's an absolute mess. Hopefully when I get this out of here, I, uh, I will uh, get, be able to get some floor sweep on this and sweep this place out and uh, get some of these little projects out of here. Hi. <laughs> What's up, George? He said hi. Hi. You like being on the internet? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, this port of power, best $75 I ever spent. Holy cow, that's the only way we got that front pins in. But got all these projects. It's a little one eighth scale gondola, little train gondola you ride on. Got to paint that stuff. But get that out of here. And then I got another. I was gonna wait. I'll tell you guys just what it is. But I picked up another service truck, and um, just waiting on my old boss to. He lost the title, filed lost title, and now he got the whatever. And so we just gotta find a date that works for him so I can pick up that service truck. It's a 2001, uh, I wonder if I can turn the camera on, hold on. That way I can be like the cool people. I don't know if my phone will let me. Hold on. Nope, I was gonna say that way I could do like the talk thing, anyways. Um, it's a 2001 F350 um, with the 7.3 power stroke and um, it's two wheel drive got a service box tires are about 40 50 percent and um, 222,000 miles with a rebuilt transmission so starts runs good I paid three grand for it so you can't well a little over three grand so you can't can't complain too much for sure but that'll be nice it has a little crane on it too and it's a writing box or something like that but so maybe I'll make a video on that when I get that home money's sitting in my pocket I literally just went to the bank today we made the agreement to buy the thing like three three weeks ago but it just hasn't happened and I figure I had to work on this anyways, or else I'd want to be working on the service truck instead of working on this. But anyways, enough rambling. That's what's hot and new with me and my life, and hopefully getting to start TNF logging here pretty soon. So anyways, hey, George, where you at? Oh, you're riding on the pogo stick? Oh yeah, that's a pretty nice pogo stick. Sledgehammer. Why don't you wave and tell everybody goodbye? What do you say? Thanks. Thanks? Alright, on that note, thanks guys.